Hey guys, I was just doing some raking to get the uh, dollar store wildflower garden going for the year, so I'll uh, show you how it goes. Alright, the next thing I'm going to do is break up this soil a bit, make it uh, a little easier for those flowers to take some root. So the ground's a little harder than I expected. It's still pretty moist, but uh, got packed in pretty good last year. It was fresh soil, so I thought maybe it'd be loose enough, but you can see I was able to get chunks out, but I think I'm gonna try tilling it. I have an electric hand tiller that I bought at a barn sale last year, so let's give it a try. That's definitely making things a little easier, so uh, I'm going to go ahead and get this whole garden bed dug up. I'm going to try not to destroy anything that I think might be a flower from last year, but there's a lot of weeds, so it's hard to tell what's what. Alright, this thing did a great job of breaking up the soil, loosening it all up. You'll see a ton of weeds in here, uh, but you also see a lot of perennials from last year's batch, and I don't know what's what, so I'm going to leave them all and see what comes in. If they're weeds, I'll pull them, and if they're perennials, great. Alright, so let's get a look at everything we're planting this year. So we have some wildflower blend, zinnia, wildflower pollinators, wildflower hummingbirds, we have regular marigolds, we have wildflower blend, sunny area, hummingbird, shade area, impatience, and elysium. I'm also going to throw some sunflowers in there that I got at the dollar store real cheap, and some lavender. Uh, I've never planted that, so we'll see how that goes. All right, so we're gonna spread those all around. Okay, so you can see how many seed there is a lot there. So something is guaranteed to grow. But uh, I'm actually gonna add some more sunflowers, I decided. So I grabbed some black oil sunflower seeds and we'll just sprinkle those in as well. There's about two handfuls, so let's do that. Okay, so let's get those raked in. Just gonna gently rake everything into the soil not going to be too aggressive all right looks great so now we're going to put some straw mulch on there just to keep it uh damp for the sunny days. Okay, well, so when you do that straw mulch, you don't want to go too thick. So you're not going to put a big thick layer on, you're just going to go real thin. So let's take a look and we'll thin out any spots that need to. So this end looks pretty good. You can see a little bit of soil through there. There are some thick spots we'll thin out a little bit. I'm just taking all the big chunky piles, breaking them up into the thin areas. All right, that looks pretty good. I'm gonna go ahead and water that in for the year and let's see what we get later this year.
Okay, so there you have it. We have our wildflower garden for the year all set up. Looks like we got uh, plenty of straw in there. I know we put plenty of seeds, so there's a couple important points we should talk about. Uh, number one, you need to have that soil broken up before you plant. Um, just laying it on top of the dirt's not gonna do anything. Um, you would think at least a few would survive. I've tried it. You have to break up that soil. Uh, number two, a huge variety of seeds helps. Um, you can buy one little box, but there's a chance it won't grow. Last year there was uh, barely any marigolds or impatience and I planted a whole box of each. So um, think about that variety you want. Um, the third thing, you want to put some mulch over it to keep them moist. Um, also, you want to rake those in. So after you lay your seed down, just gently rake on top, mix those in, get good contact with the soil. That's very important. So uh, that's it. We'll uh, see how they look at the end of the summer, and I'll give you an update. And hopefully we get a beautiful garden like we did last year. Thanks. Have a great one.